Okay, welcome WBP Stars in Rex restaurant, the restaurant of Rex Museum in Amsterdam. My name is Ulrich Bernstein, I'm the executive chef. That's Ivan. Ivan is our chef de cuisine. At the beginning of this beautiful place, two and a half years ago, we started, we opened, but we're working together for more than five years already. This is the third time I'm telling you this, but it uh, doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna cook a dish with suede. In Holland we say kora, one of my favorite vegetables, and we cooked it in salt crust. It's just like a dough with lots of salt, um, and it takes like three to four hours to film. Three to four hours to to cook it entirely. Um, I'm gonna break it open. So this suede is cooked. The guava was really nice. And then we're gonna slice the steak of it. It has such a beautiful smell and a good friend of mine just told me that uh, there are like more than 20 types in Sweden, which I didn't know, but some of them you can eat like raw as an apple apparently and uh, well some of them you really have to cook. This one you really have to cook. And the smell of this is really like, well, sort of a really intense smell of beautiful stock, beautiful uh, yeah, vegetable stock. Um, all right, now we're gonna make two things. We're gonna pan fry the the steak of the suede, and we're gonna make this crisp. Uh, which in Holland we call like a kletsko, but it's a savory kletsko. So let's go to the stove. We have the juniper berry salt. So uh, we season the suede with juniper berry salt. And then we pan fry it. Start with a little bit of oil. Give it a little bit of color and then we add a little bit of butter. For the, the Kletzkoppen, we use these small pans. And we put in a mixture of uh, lots of water, flour and uh, oil. And instead of water, you can also use like a stock, like a, uh, a shellfish stock or a, a vegetable stock that gives an extra flavor. But for us, in this dish, it's only like a nice crisp. So one side is nicely colored from the suede. Add some butter. Just the fish, please. Four minutes to run. You get these beautiful holes in your crisp. So we just wait until it's colored and crispy.
Well, believe me, it uh, will become like this. Let's make the dish. So then we need some. Uh, can you have a look at the crisp? Okay? Then you need some uh, lovage. And with the leaves, we make oil. And with the stems, the stems are really tasty and tender if you slice them finely enough. It's such a nice flavor. We use it as sort of a seasoning in the dish. You don't get more space. And here we have some, uh, some goat's yogurt curd. If we just put it in a towel and uh, get all the liquid out. We cover the, the suede steak. We sprinkle some lovage stamps on it. One of them, you ready? So here we got like crisp. We take some goat's cheese. And then we have our vinaigrette, which is made from black currant and lovers oil. And um, the black currant sauce, we actually make like a very classical sauce Baudelaire, which is like a French uh, sauce with. Um, with red wine and shallots and uh, and uh, veal stock, uh, but instead of the red wine, we use like the black currant juice. And we mix it with like um, lovage uh, oil to get this pearly vinaigrette. And the longer you wait, the nicer it gets because the oil and the sauce starts to split. And actually, if you make like an emulsion of the black currant sauce and the green oil. It doesn't taste as good as this, so it's very important to, 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 to serve it like this. So we have the beautiful suede steak baked with juniper, berry, salt, the goat curd, lovage stamps, a nice goat cheese crisp, and the black currant sauce with lovage oil. Okay, in Amsterdam, come eat in our restaurant. When you go to do the... Um